The illusion of freedom will continue for as long as it's profitable to continue the illusion. But at the point where the illusion becomes too expensive to maintain, they'll take down the scenery, move the tables and chairs out of the way, then they will pull back the curtains and you will see the brick wall at the back of the theatre. 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 What is this reality? reality? What exactly is it? What is this physical matrix that we inhabit? There's been all sorts of speculation as to what it is, this construct, where we live, what, what the meaning of life is, what consciousness is all about. And really, what do we know about reality at all? You know, I've often speculated that it's an energetic universe, an electrical universe. I strongly support that theory. I think it makes far more sense than most other theories that I've looked at. Looked at. But really, what does all that come down to as well? What would it mean to live in an energetic universe and what is energy? energy? It's also very interesting looking at the concept of the electrical energetic universe. You know, understanding that you're an energy being, you're an electrical being. Everything you experience is controlled by electrical impulse. Every feeling, every emotion, every thought, all of it is electrical energy running through your body. And you think of the concept of this being an electrical universe and the concept that energy is the base foundation of everything, everything, then you start to see the dangers of what's being rolled out. But really there's a deeper way of looking at this as well. But the concept, folks, that it's an energetic universe is an extremely interesting concept. concept. And it's a concept that stands as being a much sounder idea than virtually any other concept that we can look at, look at when one really examines the nature of physicality. It all seems to be based on the fact that we live in an energetic, electrical universe. Really, when you look at energy, energy is information. What we know about reality, what we know about this place we inhabit, even what we know about ourselves, is given to us by external sources. People may say, well, what we know about ourselves comes from our DNA, but what is DNA? DNA may well be a strand of energy, but what does the DNA contain? It contains information. So does the energy contain that information, or does the information contain the energy? The energy. But ultimately, that's all we know about ourselves. It comes from the information that we look at. And the same can be said for external sources about the external world, the matrix that we live in. Have you ever got the feeling that everything is fake? That it's just one big puppet show, one big theatre show, and that everything we're being fed is misinformation? Just having philosophical thoughts on the nature of time, the nature of what this experience really is, one must sometimes question, question how much do we really know and how much do we really think we know about what we think we know. I mean, a wise man once said, true wisdom is knowing how much you don't know. You don't know. And it's very much like that, folks. I mean, what is this reality? And what is this world that we live in? What is this system that controls us? I mean, let's face it, virtually everything we're told by this system is a lie. One just has to question how deep the lie goes and how deep the rabbit hole actually is.